Aries, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. My name is Elle. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aries. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, what we have is the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Temperance card. Okay, so um, uh, okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. All right, so uh, there will be a breakdown in communication. Things are not going well. If you do communicate with this person, it is not effective communication. It is not effecting any change. Any. Uh, clear and concise messages. It's just more so um, it could be small talk or it could be avoiding deep conversation, deep communication. There is alienation, isolation. There could be somebody suffering in silence. There also is somebody who is dealing with loss of uh, a person, place or thing, um, but somebody could be also dealing with loss of money due to you know separating or divorcing or needing to go through divorce proceedings. Um, again, there could be a third party here. You know, three of swords coming up. Someone could feel like with you leaving or you taking, withdrawing your energy or I don't know, or the relationship just not working. Now they are, um, they're missing you. They want to be with you. And their money is a little funny right now. And they find that they have to work doubly hard for it and to work even more hard you know even harder for it um this person this relationship could have been very cyclical because there was always something or somebody in the background whether it was a marital partner a baby mama baby daddy ex-girlfriend girlfriend i don't know boyfriend i don't know it was always something or somebody else in the background um so you have periods of things just being great, it's intense, we're getting along, we're happy, and then we're not happy, and we're not talking, and there's no effective communication, and there's no communication at all. Um, we're, we're both at a standstill. Um, it's disconnection altogether. And, and that has been the cycle of what you guys have done. And um, somebody's wanting to start the cycle back up wanting to salvage the connection, the relationship, maybe wanting to work on it, wanting to look at the relationship or the marriage and um, say, you know, we can make this work. This is why we can, somebody is um, weighing the pros and the cons of it. Someone is going to try to um, govern themselves accordingly, be more patient with the situation uh, or asking for patience from you or compromise. If I do this, well then will this happen or will you do this or, you know, so um, yeah, this is what somebody is doing or someone is asking for more time also in terms of if they have to divorce or if they are divorcing, they need more time to get things together to come to you. Um, somebody feels like, look, this is a you're the love of my life, you're my soulmate, you're the person I'm married to or I want to marry you. Um, we have a really good connection. We need to heal this severed tie. It's best for us to be together than apart. Let bygones be bygones. I mean, they, they're just really pouring it on thick here. Um, <clears throat> Someone also can see that you've checked out and you're working on yourself, you're working on your business, you're working on you, you're just working really hard, you're focused on you. Someone is thinking of you over and over again, or vice versa, this is what you're doing. It can be mutual. Um, this is why the energy is, you know, the both of you wanting to come back together. Um, there's also been somebody pleasuring themselves in order to kind of speed the reconciliation up or get you to come to them. There's been like some manifestation that they've been doing in order to, you know, um, pull your energy back in. Also, especially if some of you have, are having headaches or uh, if you've had surgery or you need surgery, um, this person 
wants to be there for you, wants to come in and something about healing, healing the connection or I don't know if they'll use this as an opportunity to be a part of your life again because you need help. This is what I'm seeing in terms of this connection here. Um, let's ask the cards, what is this person's next action toward you? This person's next action toward Aries. Okay. What's the best advice for Aries? And what's the final outcome? What's the final outcome for Aries? What's the final outcome? Okay, so Aries, let's go over to the extended reading and talk about uh, what's your person's next action, final outcome, and advice for you. If this reading resonates with you, for you, you can purchase the extended reading. You can also get your own reading over at the website level. You can ask a question or two if you have a question. You can also uh, donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.